Number 11. If you go fishing, remember to bring your bait. So you may have a, a pause right in here. If you go fishing, comma, remember to bring your bait. That's a very big comma. My smartphone's a little bit off, so I hope yours is smaller. Number 12. After the party, let's go over to the park. And this is one where we just need a little pause right in here. After the party, let's go over to the park. Here we've got a quote, and the set is at the end. Wait for me, I can't catch up to you. I think we're going to need two commas here. Uh, let's do our quote first. You want it inside the quote, so it's got to be in there because the set is at the end. But we also need one right here after the introductory phrase. Wait for me, because you could take that out completely and just say, I can't catch up to you. <coughs> Number 14, you will have fewer errors if you proofread your work. And again, they added the comma in for you, so you didn't have to do anything with that one. They did it already. And our last one, that's one where that name is right in the middle, and you could actually take it out. You could just say, my dentist is in the new building, but we wanted to show that relationship. So a comma before and a comma after that name.